back to my channel how are you guys doing now you guys today I'm gonna show you a bag that I make now these type of bags are some laptop and camera bags so they have two separate compartments but today you guys I'm just gonna do a little review on it so you guys can have a look and see how these bags actually look and I'm gonna talk a little bit about the type of fabric that I use to make it and the different dimensions I'm going to be showing you guys. So, stay tuned. Okay guys, now this is the bag. And as I said before, it is a camera and laptop bag. So basically, this is how it looks. And as you can see that there's a different thing down here. Now this um, fabric that I put here is actually a leatherette material. But yeah guys, um... I was requested to do this to the bottom part of the bag apparently when he's walking he says that I think the type of material probably when he sweats or something it causes the his shirt to go up and then probably but from the amount of weight that he's carrying in the bag because these bags they can take a lot of weight so probably that is the case but this should be able to stop that from happening stop his shirt from going up while he's walking this material that I use to do the rest of the bag, the two different material, both of them are actually velvet. Now let me go up a little closer so you guys can see. So you see the different patterns, the different, um, what should I say, texture. But they're both velvet. So there's two different types of velvet. Now this bag is heavily padded. Now I actually used um, a one and a half inch thick sponge for the straps and that's because usually when I make my strap I use one inch thick foam or half inch, half inch thick foam but this person wanted to have theirs really heavily padded so that's what I went ahead and do I just went ahead and get it a little extra it, it is so padded I'm telling you both of them are so heavy you can see it even give it a little crease here when they drop like that way so that's it now this is the dimension of the bag this is actually 18 inches long and 13 inches wide and that is how i usually before i was cutting um at um 17 inches long and it was a little bit too close for the laptops because the laptops they go in this section here and this is how in the top of it looks and basically as you can see I have another now here is another zipper so just in case you like want to put like your papers or any other documents in you have another section here and you just put them on inside here and then you have the section where the laptop actually goes in which is inside here right and inside here is also um, padded now what I do each layer has half inch padding so it here has a half inch padding so it will protect your laptop and here I just have so this is just one compartment this is a smaller compartment and this part at the back is just basically um, designated for the laptop now here I have so this is the front and I just put on and normally sometimes I do it with the flap but I rather to use the zipper and so here you have another compartment and you just put this is a typical pocket you just put your stuff in as you can see inside of it is line and it's line so all right so that is that and if you guys have followed me on my channel you know whenever I make a bag I like to put on some of these things or I put on something else just to um, enhance the zipper so just to help with the flow so it, it's just easier when you have something bigger and chunkier to hang on to to slide the zipper along alright so now we're gonna look on the inside of the bag so let me put it out here uh, no, usually, let me tell you guys, um, this particular bag has a metal zipper, I'm trying to make you guys see, it has a metal zipper, usually I use the same zipper here, and I'm actually going to have to go back to using this particular zipper, and these are zippers, you buy them by the yard, and then you buy the slider separate, and then um, they're very thick and that's what you generally use in bags and so on. This person, they carry a lot of um, equipment. 
the person for this bag carry a lot of equipment and that is why I was trying out this particular type of zipper however I find that these metal zips they just don't work for these bags because they don't work well along the curves it's like they can't handle the curves coming up here so I find that I'm gonna have to resort back to this however this was something that the this particular um, client of mine actually this is the second bag this person is taking for themselves they have ordered before but they have ordered for other person so I was just trying my very best to see how much I can please the customer however um, I'm gonna um, speak to him about this because I don't think that these metallic zips actually are the best thing to use for these particular type of bags anyway you guys we're gonna go on on the inside and look at it all right so pull these down as I said you know these are as I said they're just good to help with with um, the pulling down of the zip back and forth it's just more chunky and it just helps it to flow a little bit better but voila this is what the inside of it looks like and you can see you guys and inside as well the compartments the way how I do the compartments is based on the dimension of his particular thing when people do order sometimes they order based on the type particular dimension but usually I'm um, so far and um, this is the only dimension I've actually used and it seemed to work well for people and here I just have the elastic and these elastic actually strap down whatever gadget you're going to be putting in here now these you guys let me show you all of these compartments they are double so this this each of these I actually use a um, buckram and I press the buckram onto um, a piece of daquan and cotton just to help to get the, the, the thickness it just helps to keep it firm and so even if I move it like this you can see it's very firm as you can see you can see for yourselves these are very very firm and then what I do with that is that based on the, the thickness of it which is about five inches I just wrap it with the half inch foam so you, just to get the foam on each side of it so it is just well heavily padded so either side that you put your your particular um, gadget that you're putting in it is just heavily padded so it actually have the foam on each side of it so this is what the inside of it looks like so this is that part and then there is this section of it now this section of it as you can see let me turn it this way this section also have a zip and again if you have your particular items like you have some papers and things like that that you need to, 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 to um, store here you have a different storage and this is very good in the other bags that I did I did not do this I, I just left because I knew that I had done the, this this particular compartment I had done the compartment at the back but I had not made it so slim as you guys can see it has a little bit of space there so I thought that it would have been enough however um, he requested to have some separate compartments so I came up with the idea of just putting it layering them on the inside of it so he has more than enough space to put his stuff in um, let me see if this metallic zip because the problem that I have with the zip is that it just don't flow that as well as the as these zippers as the plastic ones flow um, I think because they are metal they just keep on booking because they just can't they don't run as easy they don't flow as easy however they work just as well and with the metallic zip you do have the extra um, added strength however I still want to continue using these particular zippers because they're just to me they just flow better and also they handle the curve around here a lot better however you guys this is it basically and again I use um, velvet two different types but I really really like these because right throughout the bag it is heavily padded with the sponge it is just with the foam I should say sponge or foam whichever you call it and let me see if I can get a little piece of it and show you So these are the foams that I use. So some people call it sponge, some people call it foam. But basically, this is it. So to get the arm, um, let me show you guys. The way how I get the inside of it, 
I literally just wrap it like that so you have it's like you have a double layer and you see how thick that comes but then you have the, the fabric and the buckram on the inside of this so that is how you, it manages to keep the shape even if I, I, um, I have and you can see it keeps it literally keeps the shape of it it is heavily padded it keeps the shape of it and so when I zip it up you find even though it, there is isn't anything on the inside it just helps the bag to keep the shape of it. This is what I meant when I said the metal zippers. They just don't flow as well as the plastic zippers do. Okay, you guys. Well, this is basically how the bag looks. It's heavily padded. And look, guys. See, it keeps the shape. Like, even though I push it in, it keeps the shape. But basically, this is it. Yeah, you guys. I hope you like this video. And I'll see you guys again on another video. Bye! Thank you very much for joining me! <laughs>